everyone! So Hoya vs recently released the descriptions for the upcoming artifacts in Fontaine, so let's see if these sets are worth farming for your account. Let's begin with the Mario Chassis Hunter set. The 2-piece effect increases normal and charge attack damage by 15%. The 4-piece effect activates when the user's current HP increases or decreases. When this condition is met, it grants a 12% crit rate increase with a max of 3 stacks. Note that based on the description, there are no restrictions as to how the user's HP must increase or decrease. This gives players the choice to change it through various methods like healing or self-inflicted damage through reactions like Virgin. The two-piece effect is good for DPS characters who rely on their normal and charge attacks to deal damage. Early game players or those who don't have amazing four-piece sets can opt to use this for two-piece two-piece mix with another set. The 4-piece effect is amazing so long as you can reach the max stacks. However, outside of healing, self-inflicted reaction damage, or built-in HP loss or gain built into their kit, there aren't many DPS characters who can take full advantage of this set. This set faces a similar dilemma to something like Blizzard Strayer, where it is easy to cap out on crit rate. While on one end this requires you to have less crit rate at base, it also forces you to ensure that you have enough crit damage, attack percent, etc. to maximize your damage output. And god forbid if the character that you're using ascends with crit rate. This leads me to imply that future support or DPS oriented characters in future patches will likely have HP altering mechanics that make this set a bit more valuable in the long run for more units. So which characters can currently use this set? Well, right now the only character who outright wants this set is Liney. It is his best in slot as he has HP draining gain built into his charge attacks and elemental skill. Alongside the types of teams he's incentivized to be in, he will easily be able to take advantage of both the 2-piece and 4-piece effects. Liney, unfortunately, is the only character who benefits greatly from this set. Characters like Zhao, Hu Tao, and Ayato and Alhatham and Burgeon can use this set, but its performance is only marginally better or worse compared to their best in slots. Starting with Zhao, compared to Vermilion, at a baseline Mario Chassis Hunter performs around 1-3% better or worse overall. Considering that Zhao is a character that ascends with crit rate, and its best in slot is a crit rate weapon, it can be easy to have too much crit rate on him if you have lots of crit rate in your substats. Therefore, it typically performs worse if you're using a crit weapon like Primordial Jade Wing Spear or Deathmatch, and better when using a non-crit stat weapon like Calamity Qualler or Vortex Vanquisher, or crit damage weapon like Staff of Homa. Marchesi Hunter begins to perform better across more weapons if you have multiple external attack buffs from things like Bennett Burst or Thrilling Tails. This is especially the case among non-crit options. Regardless, I wouldn't farm for the 4-piece set for Zhao unless you either happen to get a nice 4-piece that ends up better than your current Vermilion 4-piece, or if you have Staff of Homa or an attack percent weapon that you already use on him. You could even argue a case for farming the set with the purpose of throwing it to the strong box to get a good Vermilion 4-piece instead, which in many cases would actually be more optimal. However, that's up for you to decide. Hutao can obtain a stack from the 4-piece effect by herself through casting her elemental skill and another from her elemental burst, which usually is opted to not be used in every rotation. Even with these instances of HP change, she has no way to reliably reach max stacks on her own accord. A pseudo burgeon comp with something like Nahida could work, but it's not always the most optimal or necessary choice for the most part. She will have to wait until there is a support unit or a decent weapon choice that allows her to take full advantage of this set. She does however benefit from the 2-piece effect, allowing her to opt for 2-piece build options if necessary. Ayato and Alhatham are interesting cases as the set would only really be worthwhile in a team like Burgeon. Although this would allow them to reliably get and maintain max stacks, the problem is that their best in slots like Echoes or Glad for Ayato and Gilded Dreams for Alhatham have effects and damage bonuses that just synergize so well with their kits and gameplay. So unless you don't have these 4 pieces and your 2 piece mixes aren't that great, farming Marchassi Hunter simply for these two in a Burgeon team just isn't worth your resin. And even if you did, Marchassi Hunter performs marginally worse on average anyways. Overall, in terms of priority on who to farm this set for, regardless of if it's for the 2 piece or the 4 piece, the list goes Liney, then Zhao, then Ayato or Alhatham in Burgeon, and then Hu Tao. Let's move on to the other artifact set, which is Golden Troop. The 2-piece effect for this set provides a 20% increase to elemental skill damage. 4-piece effect increases elemental skill damage by another 25%. Additionally, while off the field, the user is granted another 25% elemental skill damage increase. This effect is cleared when taking the field longer than 2 seconds. Both the 2-piece and 4-piece effect are beneficial for sub DBS or support characters who have most of their damage in their elemental skill. Noting that such characters can get up to a 70% increase in their elemental skills damage makes this set very valuable for such units. So who can use Golden Troop? Honestly, the primary candidates and the most obvious ones for this set are Fischl, Yamiko, and Albedo, as they all have elemental skills that have a short casting time and do not require them to be on the field for a long period. 
Starting with Fischl, this set is a massive upgrade for her. She definitely needed a buff. Compared to her better sets like 4-piece Thunder Soother, Go to Dreams, and 2-piece Variations, this set provides a minimum of a 10% damage increase and can even be up to a 20% increase depending on things like substats, weapon choices, etc. Overall, if you have a well-built Fischl and want to maximize her output, I would highly recommend farming this set for her. Yamiko also benefits greatly from this set, especially if you don't prioritize her elemental burst and rotations. However, if you plan to use her burst every rotation or even every other rotation, then this set goes from about an 8-10% to damage increase down to around a 2-5% to increase. Despite a slight decrease in priority in these situations, it still is able to provide a massive upgrade at a baseline, which makes this set worth farming for for Yamiko. I would prioritize getting this for Fischl first though, and then leaving leftover pieces for Yamiko to use later on. Lastly, we have Albedo. Now this set leans more as a competitive option rather than simply a outright upgrade. While on average this set does perform better than its best in slot, Husk of Opulent Dreams, it is a little bit conditional. If you have many defense buffs or stats from things like Cinnabar Spindle, more substats, or like C6 Goro for example, then this set can provide up to about a 5% damage increase. However, without these things, and especially if you don't have Goro and Spindle, then it begins to fall in priority and even starts to begin to marginally perform worse than Husk on average. Therefore, this set, while good on Albedo, is one big it depends case. Generally, I wouldn't farm this set just for Albedo, but like Yamiko's case, leftover pieces from farming it for Fischl could be nice to give to them. And he's also another case where if you don't really have an amazing 4 piece husk set, then it could be worth it to farm this set for him. And in terms of unit priority for farming this set, I would say Fischl, Yamiko, and then Albedo. And alright, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Genshin Impact content. Please leave any questions that you have about the artifact sets down in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them accurately. The next video will be a comprehensive whiny guide, which I'll be releasing on the day that Fontaine releases. So, hope you all have a good rest of your day, afternoon, or night, and until the next video, bye bye